Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. First off, before we get into this video, I just have to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports my channel. I recently hit 500 subscribers and this is the series of videos that I have been waiting <laughs> to create until I hit 500 subscribers. This is a massive deal for me, maybe not for other YouTubers. I started making YouTube videos a year and a half ago. I've been quite consistent with it. It's slow growth. I think it took me six months to hit 100 subscribers. It took me another six months to get to 200 subscribers. A lot of people grow a lot faster, but I haven't, and that's okay, but it's nice that we're finally picking up a little bit of momentum. I absolutely love that I'm starting to create a little bit of a community, and thank you so much to you guys who consistently give my videos thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm out a lot, as well as leaving comments. It just helps me get to know you guys better, and I feel like I'm not talking to a brick wall. It's behind me. <laughs> Also, just if you don't know, uh, you don't get any money on YouTube until you get to a thousand subscribers. So that's why I like to ask, and probably a lot of other YouTubers you watch like to ask you to subscribe as well, just because it is quite a lot of work to make videos, which is fine. I absolutely love doing it. I don't do this for the money, obviously, or I would not still be doing this, but it would be nice to, you know, make a little bit. So that is why, if you're not already, I would ask you to subscribe. Completely free, doesn't mean you have to watch all my videos, just a way to support me. Anyway, now that that is done, I do want to quickly announce that I am doing a giveaway. And if you just watched my last video where I did a thrift swap with my good YouTube friend, Carrie, definitely check that out. I'll have that link down below. But in a similar vein, I kind of want to do that with one of you guys. I want to choose one of you and you'll tell me a little bit about your style, your size of course, and I will actually go thrifting for you, make a video about it, and I'll send you the stuff and I think that would be really fun. So if you would like to enter that, today is Monday that this video will be going up. I will keep this giveaway live until this coming Friday, don't know the date off the top of my head, I'll include it right here. But all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to me and then head on over to my Instagram, follow me there, link down below in the description, and just send me a DM that says that you want to be entered into the giveaway. That's all you have to do and you'll have a chance to win some thrifted clothes from me. I think it'd be really fun. But anyway, this video is about to be quite long, so let's just get into it. I did order the big thread up rescue box a couple of months ago actually i was worried about it not being available when i was close to hitting the 500 subscribers so it has been waiting for me to get into it for quite a while there are a couple different options that you can do for the big thread up rescue boxes there is the 100 pound rescue box that comes in two different very large boxes or you can actually do 200 pounds which is four very large boxes now, I still have <laughs> quite a bit of inventory to list on my Poshmark, and I just genuinely don't have the space to do 200 pounds right now. Also, that does cost $500, so didn't really want to spend that at this time. So I got the 100 pound boxes, and that one did cost $300, so you do get a savings if you end up buying the 200 pound one, which maybe I'll do for 1,000 subscribers, we'll see. But I have all the clothes right here. This is a laundry basket, a full laundry basket, and it's piled up high. And you guys are probably like, did you already open the box? What the heck? And yes, I did, but I have a good reason. And I honestly did not really look at anything closely. So when the box came, the boxes came like two weeks apart randomly. I definitely thought I got screwed in some ways. But when the first box came, there was a torrential downpour going on. It was April, <laughs> so it was just raining all the time. And I don't even think it was sitting outside for that long. But when I did get it, it was absolutely soaked. So I had to take everything out of the box, actually throw some stuff into the dryer because it was very wet and I didn't want it to get moldy. And I just 
put it all in this bin and then put it away and didn't think about it. The other one was nice and dry when it arrived, so I didn't crack into that. But I just wanted to explain why the stuff is out of the box, but I genuinely don't remember like any of the stuff that was in here and for sure did not look into like any of the brands. Okay, so I... <laughs> Ah, thumbnail. Ah. <laughs> I am going to put this on the floor and I am going to go through this quite quickly. So the plan for this week is I'm going to show you guys all the stuff from this box in this video. Then I actually will show you guys the stuff from the second box in a special video for Wednesday. I don't usually post on Wednesdays, but I thought I would do it for this special 500 video special. And then Friday, I actually am going to pull out maybe the 20 or 30 best pieces and talk a little bit more about them since there's no way I'm going to have time to talk in detail about any of this stuff. And I will also talk about the breakdown of the amount of pieces that I got the amount that I'm paying per item if you divide it all up, which I won't know until I get through both boxes. So I'll talk about that so you can see maybe if you think it would be worth your money. I can talk about how much crap I got because I'm definitely <laughs> expecting to get a bit of crap. But I'll just let you know based off of my experience if I think it is something worth spending your money on because it is quite expensive. But I think that that is enough chit chat. Let's get comfy. I'm definitely wearing athletic shorts. Every YouTuber you watch probably wears sweats or athletic shorts for all of the videos. But let's get into this. First up, we have a sweater. Very pretty sweater, nothing wrong with it. It's from a brand called Stockholm Atelier. I like it. I'll definitely be trying to sort this as I'm going through it and I'll make a pile of stuff that I won't list until it gets colder. Like all the sweaters, I'm not even gonna think about listing for a few months and I'll try to get all the summary stuff up pretty quickly. We'll see. <laughs> okay, now we have a dress, just like a pretty basic dress. It's black, but it does have a little bit of detailing on it. It's kind of like, a very casual dress that has pockets. Don't think there's anything wrong with it. Very lightweight. This is from a brand called Maria Berman Dress Up, which I have heard before. Can't remember if it's good or not. Doesn't feel super high quality, but we'll see. I'll try to make notes up here, but I probably won't make notes for everything just because that will take me 17 years. <laughs> but okay, now we have a Old Navy Active Go dry top, very cute. Looks pretty small, this is probably an extra small, but in good condition. I don't mind getting a lot of like Old Navy and stuff because even though it might only sell for like 10 bucks, it'll sell. I'd rather get this than a bunch of like damaged stuff or just a bunch of stuff without names on it. That's the worst when you get stuff with just no tags or anything because it's just really hard to sell. But this is in an extra small. Oh my gosh, guys, we're two down. There's so much stuff, which I'm really grateful for. This is gonna take a while. But here we have a random brand that has no name. This looks maybe like a random Amazon one. I've ordered from Amazon a few times. Their stuff is just generally pretty crappy. Um, so that's what I'm guessing it's from. Feels very much like a LuLaRoe dress. This is something I'll probably try to find a, more information about from Google Photos, but I'm guessing that's probably Amazon. Here we've got just like a nice little basic gray hoodie. Not mad about that. I'll also make a pile of stuff that I might keep for myself. So this is a Gap, size extra small, so again, quite small, which is a bummer. But I might actually list that as a small because it looks kind of big. Okay, here we have a really cute Jones New York, like blue velvety wintry top. This would be really nice for the holidays. It's in a size extra large and it also does have some stretch to it, which is nice. So I will put that in the winter pile. I also did arm day yesterday, which was a mistake because this motion, <laughs> It's not feel the best right now, but okay. Here we have a really cute sweater. It's a turtleneck. <laughs> I might have to make a pile of like stuff my mom or sister might like. This is Old Navy, extra small as well. Hopefully it's like not all extra small, but that's really cute. My mom could definitely fit into that. 
I like that a lot. It's almost like a very unique color green. It's not just pure green. A little bit teal, but I'll put that in um, my mom's pile. <laughs> Here we have some jeans that feel quite crappy. They're from a brand called Blank New York City. They're size 30, definitely jeggings, but it doesn't actually look like there's anything wrong with them. You guys probably know I recently did the DIY denim box and this is in better shape than a lot of that stuff. So again, if I can get 10 bucks, not mad. I'm definitely gonna list it. Here is a Brandy Melville sweater. Is Brandy still in? Like I know it's very not in, in terms of <laughs> body positivity. One size fits small, right? But I don't know. I mean, hopefully I can get maybe like 15 bucks out of it. It's a pretty cute basic sweater. And I think as long as you list it as a small instead of one size, like people buy it. All right, here is a J. Crew little top. I think this is really, really cute actually. I like these kind of tops because you can almost throw them over a dress or with a skirt or something or with shorts and dress it down. But it has some really cute lace detailing and this is in a size small. I'm expecting to get a lot of like J. Crew and Talbots and stuff like that, but I've heard a lot of other postures say that those brands are actually not doing too bad for them this year, so. I don't know. <laughs> I just need one person to buy it. Here is a very cute Eddie Bauer top. It's in a size extra large, so great size. Really nice and lightweight. Really like the colors. Very, very cute. Happy about getting an extra large. Here we have a top from a brand called Dicey. It's D-E-I-C-Y, made in love. I'll have to look that one up for sure. That's what the tag looks like. Doesn't feel super great. It's interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see what the vibe is with this brand. Oh, here is a very, very cute dress, I think. Yeah, okay, so this is from a brand called Deb. Okay, not mad at that. I love this dress. This might be one that I show my mom, but it has like really cute pockets. It's like a nice, it would be a maxi dress on my mom, honestly. It'd be like a midi dress on me, but I think this is really cute. I don't think there's a size, but it looks to be, actually, this might fit me better than my mom. Very cute. I'll try it on first. <laughs> All right, here is just like a sweater kind of thing. It's like a very lightweight sweater. Looks to be like very 2000s with pretty long torso. You could wear this over leggings. This is a size small and it's from a brand called Monoreno. I think, I feel like I've seen this. Ugh, can you guys see any of these tags? But I mean, it's in fine condition. We'll definitely put that up in the winter. I like to do sweater mystery boxes in the winter. And so I don't mind stocking up on some kind of like random brands that they're still in good condition, but people might not be looking for them. Oh my gosh, the 2000s called and they want their dress back. Maybe I should keep this and do like a 2000s makeover. Hate it, but love it, if you know what I mean. Very, very like silky feeling. It's got the red halter top, yes. I might have to do a video with this. That would be really fun, I think. But this is from a brand called Vivian Tam Dress. It just says petite, which I don't, know what that means. I would have to probably squeeze into this. It might be my sister doing the makeover instead of me. Here is something. I guess this is a sweater vest, but it's cut very strange. It's cut very boxy, I feel like. But this is from a brand called IB Diffusion. It's in a size small. Very interesting. I've seen a lot of thrifters get back into sweater vest. It's not my thing, it never will be my thing, but maybe that will sell pretty well. I don't know. Okay, here is a LuLaRoe, size extra, extra small, but it looks much more like a medium. I guess LuLaRoe is pretty oversized, but there's that classic LuLaRoe print, you know? But I have sold a bit of it, so I'm not too mad about having that. Okay, here is a extra, extra small top from a brand called Jory. I've seen this before. I need to figure out what that actually is, but it's a pretty cute top actually. Feels very nice and lightweight. I'll definitely list this pretty soon. 
we'll see how it does with it being so small, but that feels like a nice top. There is, looks like it's a button up. I'm not gonna button it up now just for the sake of time, but it actually, it looks like a wrap. This might be cute actually on, um, but it's from Charlie Design. I don't see a size right off the bat, but I'm guessing it's probably a small. It doesn't feel the best of quality, but once I figure out what it actually looks like on, I think it'll be cute. All right here is not an ugly top. You know, I don't mind that. Pretty floral, nice teal. This is from Basic Editions. It's in a size small. This my mom might actually like. Not bad at all and in perfect condition. I don't think there's been anything so far that's really not been in good condition, so I'm happy about that. Here we have a cute little summer dress. This is from a brand called Speechless. It's just kind of like a classic summer dress. Feels really nice and lightweight, pretty floral. You can see that it did have a belt at one time. Ooh. <laughs> it had a belt, but no longer, but that's okay. I don't think it really matters. So I'll definitely still sell that and just say, no belt. Here's a little <laughs> seashell coastal skirt. This feels very, very good quality. I'm guessing it's like a boutique that no one's ever heard of. Yeah, it's skirting around, which is from New Canon, Connecticut, in a size two. But I'm excited to do research on this because if this is a brand that, you know, beachy people look for, I might be able to make some solid money. All right, here is just kind of like a simple black dress. This is from Gap, not mad about it at all. It's in a size small. It has like some buttons on the front and then cinches in at the waist and flares out. Super great basic and very, very comfortable. Here's a top from Saks Fifth Avenue, a really pretty orange color, which is nice because then it will stand out on my feed a little bit better. It's in a size extra large. Great condition, nothing wrong with that. That'll be going up tomorrow. Here is just a nice little loft skirt in a size six. Skirts don't typically do that well for me, but this is a pretty one. The black ones, the plain ones, they don't do that well. But this is a nice skirt in good condition, and I think if I price it pretty well, it'll sell eventually. Here's something interesting. This is from a brand called Papu. Do you guys recognize that brand? Is this interesting? It's very like stretchy material, kind of like that LuLaRoe fabric. And it has like a cityscape scene all the way down this dress. And this is in a size small. That does not look like a size small. That is so oversized. I thought this would be XL at least. That's very interesting. <laughs> if you guys know anything about this, I'd love to hear it. I'll look it up of course, but. Yeah, interesting. I haven't even cracked into the actual container. I'm still working on overflow over here. So here is what I was dreading. This is a random dress that's very thin, very crappy feeling, and there's no tag. So this is the stuff that, although it makes me cringe a little bit, I'm not gonna list stuff like this. If there's stuff that has no tag that actually is like quite nice and I could try to figure it out, that's one thing. I'll probably still list it, but stuff that's just like literal fabric, I'm not gonna list it. Okay, but it will be redeemed by this very, very cute skirt. This is so fall, oh my gosh, this with like a black turtleneck, very cute. This is from a brand called United Arrows that's made in Tokyo, feels very nice, perfect condition. Not sure what size this is, I'll have to measure it. But I mean, I'd say maybe like a six or something like that, maybe even an eight. We'll see, very, very cute. All right, here's another skirt. Hopefully I won't get a lot of them, but all the skirts I've gotten so far are actually pretty good. So this one is from a brand called She Wears the Pants. It's in a size two, looks a little bit vintage. Very, very cute though. It has kind of like a scarfy cut, fringy cut on the bottom. I like this a lot, kind of like that brown one I think be really cute just paired with like a basic turtleneck. So I really like that. So far, so pretty good. I genuinely forgot everything. So you can't get mad at me for opening the box. <laughs> okay, here is something odd. Some kind of sweatshirt that you actually tie? Are you seeing this? This looks very odd, but this is actually an Old Navy active. So it looks like you like put it on like a jacket and then it ties right here, kind of like a little cape moment. 
but it's very nice. It's just like a basic gray sweatshirt material. Might see if my mom wants this because it looks like it would be nice to throw on for walks. Okay, here is, I don't even know. <laughs> this is the part where my brain starts to die and I can't describe anything. This almost looks like it is hand knit. I don't know, we'll see what the tag is. It says Meg Allen. The tag is a little bit worn, but the sweater is not. This is very, very thick. Like, looks like you would be going to a lighthouse up in Maine in this. Excited to do more research about this one. Okay, so here is just like a cardigan from Massimo. Black, it's a little bit like sparkly vibes. A little bit interesting. Great to throw on for the holidays, nothing wrong with it. Try to sell it for 12 bucks. Okay, here is a new with tags shirt. It is from a brand called Briscoe Brands. It's in a size medium. It just says Nap Queen. Not really my vibe, stuff like that for myself, but I have seen a lot of shirts like that go for like $15, which cool, hopefully I can get that. But um, Nap Queen, yeah. Here is just kind of like a basic tunic. Pretty cute, it's from a brand called e &M, which I've not heard of. Stuff like this, even though it's in good condition, doesn't really sell that well for me just because they're not really searchable brands. They often do sell eventually though, so I'll list it, but that just won't be a quick sale. Now we've got a nice scarf. <laughs> this is nice. I do have quite a lot of scarves to sell just from my past and my sister and my mom and just from other random places I've gotten scarves. So what I'll probably do in the fall is just kind of create bundles where I'll sell like five for 15 bucks or something like that. But that actually is a pretty nice scarf. Ding, ding, ding. We have another piece of absolute junk. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> I can't even describe to you how crappy this feels. Not good at all. But yeah, no tag, nothing. Absolute junk. Now we've got a little tank, very coastal vibes as well. It has this lace back, which I feel like this style was super in, probably like in the mid 2000s when I was in like middle school. I definitely had a lot of shirts with this like lace back. We'll see if anybody still likes it. Like I said, 2000s apparently are making a comeback, so hopefully that will help me profit. Here we have got a actually very, very comfortable feeling light blue tank. I'm not personally a fan of this style where it like ties up like that, but this is just an express top. It's in a size extra small, and like I said, like so comfortable. <laughs> if I find stuff that's really comfy, I'm like so comfy in the description. Helps me sell. This is just a very basic blazer, nothing too exciting. No brand, it does have shoulder pads. This will be one like, I wanna get better about styling my pictures. So I'll probably have my sister take some pictures with this and hopefully that will help that sell. Ooh, I like these. Look at this color of pant. That's actually a gorgeous pant, it feels very nice. This is from a mystery brand. You're kidding me. Hopefully I'll we'll find a tag inside later. There's like stretchy waist. Like I said, feels very, very nice. Really like this color a lot. Looks like it's pretty nice and high-waisted, has a zipper and everything. So maybe I'll try these on? I don't think they'll fit, but those are cool. I told myself I can't keep anything unless it has no tag because that stuff, like I said, is harder to sell. Because the whole point of this was for me to make money, not to really get stuff for myself. So if those fit, I'll keep them since there's no tag. Also, sorry, this is starting to happen. I don't really see any way to avoid it. <laughs> Here we've got a skirt, I think. Very, very interesting. It's kind of like bubbly. I don't know, maybe this got warped or maybe that's just how it's supposed to be, but very pretty vibrant colors. This is from a brand called Cute Options, size small, made in India. Makes sense, very pretty. We'll see if that sells. Here is like a tunic, not quite a dress, not quite a top, feels very nice. It's from a brand called Cool Melon. This would be nice for like the end of summer, fall. I like this, there's no size but I'm guessing, you know, like extra large, it would probably fit pretty well. Here is a dress, you know, this is classic, like 
nice work event, you work in a corporate office, or you're wearing this to a wedding. Really nice dress, just sometimes hard to sell. It's from a brand called Connected Apparel. It's in a size 12, which is good, and made in Sri Lanka. I do like the design. Here's another piece of crap. Only had three so far, but it's a very lightweight, not actually even super ugly. There's just no tag anywhere. Maybe I spoke too soon. I think there is a tag. The tag doesn't say anything except made in China. So I'm definitely not going to list that. Not well made at all. Here we have got a bridesmaid's dress, looks like, which honestly I'm not that mad about this because there's nothing wrong with it. And it is not a crazy design or anything. It's just a nice pink color. So someone could honestly wear this to prom, I think. This is from a brand called Monique Lulier Bridesmaids. I don't know. <laughs> it's in a size two, so that will be kind of hard to sell, but I'll list it. I mean, might as well, right? I'd rather list it and have it sit for a while and then eventually take it down than not even try. I got like a pretty, no offense, ugly looking prom dress in one of these rescue boxes, probably like the first one I did, and it did end up selling. I ended up lowering it quite a bit, but it sold eventually, and I probably made like 15 bucks off of it. So if that's what I get out of that, I don't really care, that's great. Here is just a tank. So this is one I will not list because it has no name or anything on it, but I might try this on because it's nice just to have these like basic white tanks and I especially like that it has a v-neck because I feel like all mine are round neck and I do prefer a v-neck despite the fact that I'm wearing a round neck today. <laughs> all right here is an interesting dress. I don't know it's very like asymmetrical I think yeah there's like big cutouts here there's strappy things going on this is a club and dress if I ever saw one. This brand is called Necessary Clothing, which I think is really funny because this is the most unnecessary piece of clothing I've ever seen in my life. You don't need this in your life, but also if you want it, please shop my Poshmark. This is another Old Navy Active top. It's actually like the same exact top as the one that I opened like first or second, but it is in black, so I might bundle them together. This one might actually be a little bit thicker, but it's just a great basic. Uh, it's in a size small. I think the other one was in a size small as well. And I'm happy to have that. We're actually in the tub now, if you guys are curious. We're getting there. Pair of just basic blue leggings. There's no brand or anything on them, but they actually don't feel that bad. So I might list them. Just kidding, there is a brand. It just says CP. CP. I'll look into it. <laughs> Another kind of more active top, which I am not mad at. Active wear does pretty well for me. This brand is called Zac T. It is in a size UK 8, so that's like a 4. Yeah, US 4. Looks pretty good. I like the color too. Will stand out on the page. Ooh, yeah, guys. Might have to keep these for myself, she said very sarcastically. Look at those shorts. What do they call these, like disco pants? <laughs> They're interesting. I can't wait to write a note to whoever buys these. They're awesome. What event do you wear these to? I guess the club, I don't know. Not things that I go to. But this is from a brand called Jack. They are in a size eight. Just take that in before we move on. Take that in. Okay, here's something cool. I've been waiting for something pretty cool. I guess those shorts were. But here is a jacket. It's like purple camo but there's a bunch of patches on it. Very interesting. Very like Marvel patches, I guess. So pretty cool. Or DC, I'm so sorry, DC. And there's no brand on it. It just says extra small, which seems wrong. I'll probably list it as a small, but very funky. I'll list it. I'll see if anyone can find it, but interesting. Here we have another pretty basic dress. I'm not sure what is the front. I think this is the front, but there's zippers on both sides, but it's like a nice olive green, pretty thick, has some ruffles on the bottom. Can't find any brand info at the moment, but this is one I will look more into because it is a nice dress. Ooh, I really like this. So this is a dress. It's like a sweater dress. Very, very comfortable feeling. I like the detail at the top. I like that the turtleneck has some fun ruffles on it. This is from Loft. It's in a size medium. Total Christmas vibes. 
If this doesn't sell around Christmas, I will happily wear that one. Very cute. Here is... I don't really know. Okay, this is like all twisted up, but it's a really, really cute dress. Would be really nice to wear like a turtleneck underneath it or like a white t-shirt underneath it. That would be adorable. And some white sneakers. And I feel like this is vintage maybe. Yes, definitely a vintage brand. It says it's from All That Jazz, a chorus line company. So is this a costume? Doesn't look like it, but it is in a size. Doesn't say size. I don't know, but I really like that. All right, here is like a sweater dress. It's in a nice charcoal gray color. It looks like it hits you about the knees or be a midi length. And this also has a little bit of a turtleneck, mock neck. Can't see a brand anywhere. I'll look a little bit closer because this isn't bad. Has some sleeve detail if you're into that. Very, very comfortable. Great to throw on in the winter, so I'll look more into that one. Here is just a plain loft shirt. We'll see how this does. I'll probably see if my mom wants this. It's in a size small. Just a great basic to put on with some jeans in the fall. Nothing crazy. Ooh, but let's get to something crazy. Here are some gap pants, but they're like a velvety material. I don't know if you can tell. And they have like the nice gold accents. Also on the back, they have some gold accents. <laughs> These are really cool. So yeah, they're Gap 1969, so they're a better brand, and they are 26 regular and always skinny. But these are so cool. I'm excited to list these. This is just a t-shirt, it's a graphic tee from a brand called Zutter USA, and it just says weekend, so nothing crazy. Like I said, graphic tees sometimes do really well, so yeah, that's one I'll probably list as soon as possible, and hopefully I'll get 10 to 12 bucks out of it. Just with the amount of stuff that was in this box alone, remember I have an entire other box, 50 pounds worth of stuff. Just with the amount of stuff I've gone through today, it's gonna be such a low cost per item. So if I can make like five bucks average off of each item, that's good, I'm making my money back. This is just like a tunic from Massimo, will be great for fall. Really nice lightweight and also great as people are going back to the workforce as well. Nothing too crazy, but just something that I think people often do want to buy secondhand since it is nothing crazy. Just fabric. <laughs> it does have holes, so you could wear this kind of over a dress or something like that. But yeah, no name, feels awful, not good, not gonna list. Oh, I like this. It seems like every time I get a piece of absolute crap. I get something pretty good next. I do like this. So this brand is a mystery. Looks like H&M. I think that number looks like H&M, but it is this like sheer leopard print dress. It's like a maxi dress. This isn't a size eight, which is a little bit smaller than what I am, but this is really cool. I'm always looking for long sleeve dresses, so I'm gonna try this on too. <laughs> Maybe my rule will actually be, instead of only keeping stuff that doesn't have tags, maybe I'll just say total, I can only keep five things. That seems like a better rule, because if there's something that's like I'm really amazing and I'm gonna wear it, like I'll keep it. <laughs> Here's another top, another great like work kind of tunic top. This brand is Uniqlo, which I found in another rescue box and I do believe I sold it. It's a really nice royal blue color and the sleeves are kind of folded up to make it look a little bit more interesting, but this is in a size small. Ooh, our first jacket. Just a best kidding. I've definitely <laughs> found other jackets, at least one, but this is a really good, very comfortable, very oddly comfortable actually. Just a great kind of like tan jacket that I feel like everyone needs one of these in their closet. It ties up. It is called Spiral Girl. Never heard of that. It's like annoyingly folded down here, but it does feel very, very nice. Not sure the size, but it looks to be maybe like a medium or a large. Here we have just a black top. This is really cute. I do like tops like this where it's like kind of mesh all at the top and along the sleeves and then solid on the bottom. I think this could be worn a lot of different ways. And this is from Guess Los Angeles and it is in a size small. So hopefully it should do okay. Absolute piece of crap. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, this might be the worst piece of crap yet. It's a pretty mustard color, but literally looks like it's just been cut. 
Not great. Not great at all. But that means something good will follow, right? <laughs> okay, another bridesmaid's dress, so nothing crazy. But this is pretty cute. I don't hate this. I wouldn't hate if someone made me wear this for their wedding. I like the color a lot. Nothing too insane on the detailing. It is strapless. This is also from Monique Lulier Bridesmaid, so probably from that same chick. 27 dresses, never a bride, always a bridesmaid. <laughs> this is in a size 10. There we go, great size. Actually my size, but I have no need for this. Oh, uh, here's a cute little cardigan, so I'm not gonna button it up right now, but it actually has some like pretty textured sleeves. I don't know if you can tell that at all. It's black, but it does have that bit of detailing. And it looks like the ruffle black kind of floral detailing goes all the way up the front. So that'll be cute when I take pictures, I think. This is from a brand called Olivia M. Don't see a size anywhere, but I would definitely say like a medium or small. Okay, here's a vest. I always forget what these kind of vests are called. I have one myself and I really like to wear it in the fall, like over a turtleneck or something more basic. But this feels really nice. It's from a brand called Snooky Love by Nicole Palizzi. Is that how you say her last name? By Snooky. This is by Snooky. The famous chick from Jersey Shore. Okay, Snooky. I'm not mad about this. This is really nice. Definitely will be listing that in the fall. We're getting near the end. We probably have less than a quarter left. So I hope you got a snack. <laughs> oh, look, ding, 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 a piece of crap. <laughs> this one isn't too, too bad, but there is no name and it's definitely just not made very well, but it's not an ugly top. Like this might be one that I do try on myself because I think this would be cute, kind of like tucked in to more basic pants, so we'll try it on. Here's another J. Crew top. Oh, this is actually exactly the same, or very, very similar to that like more pink one that we saw at the beginning. The pattern is a little bit different, and this is in a size six, where I think the other one just was like a size small, but it's, yeah, J. Crew factory, pretty cute for summer. Here's just a pair of leggings. They're like kind of tribally prince looking leggings. They are very thin, not very well made at all. They're Charlotte Russe, that's why, size medium. And I'll list them, but I'll list them for very, very low. Here we've got a pair of Adidas sweats. Haven't really found much like this, but I'm very happy, surprised that this didn't sell on their site. Nothing wrong with it, so not sure why it's in this box, but I'm happy about it. These are in a size small. So yeah, I'll list these now. I love selling just like plain Adidas stuff like that. This is a very interesting top. It's like a poncho, has the turtleneck there. Can't find a name brand anywhere. It doesn't feel that bad of quality. I just don't know if anyone would be interested in this. I'll keep this and look more into it. Hopefully I'll be able to find a tag on the inside. Ooh, I like these pants. I've gotten some cool pants. These are loft. They're size four petite. Very, very cute. I like them. I would not be confident enough to wear them. They're wider leg too, which is nice. But I do like these very much. Here is a skirt, I think. Also like very middle school vibes. Nice maxi skirt, but actually very comfortable feeling. Not my style personally. Don't really love the pattern, but hopefully somebody else will. Tag has been cut out. So I'll see if I can find something, but hopefully I'll at least be able to list it and sell it for pretty cheap. Ooh, here we've got a pair of Fabletics leggings, which have done pretty well for me in the past. They're a really pretty, like, deep purple color. Look to be in great condition. Yeah, they're Power Hold by Fabletics. Can't find the size tag right off the bat, but probably, like, a smaller medium. Just have to look more into that, but happy about that. Oh, here's an adorable little tank from Knox Rose, which I do have in my closet right now and it hasn't sold, so hopefully this will sell, but I do really like this. Kind of more like a tunic-y length, really pretty lilac color, nice and lightweight, and in great condition. And this is in a size medium. Not been a lot of mediums. <laughs> oh, the old classic, the American Eagle, soft and sexy. Oh, this is a size medium. This is one I will not be mad if it doesn't sell because just great to throw on with some leggings when you're hanging around the house or just going to Target quick or something. So surprised that this didn't sell too. Oh, here's another Eddie Bauer top. This is also very similar to that one I found nearer to the beginning, very similar, like lightweight. But that one I think was an extra large. This one is a size medium, pretty green color. 
I like this, very cute. This one's been staring at me for a while, so I guess I'll pick it up. <laughs> this is actually a polo top. It's in a size extra small. Again, has that tie-up detail that I'm not personally super crazy about. But definitely very well made, fantastic condition, super, super comfortable. Simple light gray and white stripe pattern. So I will be putting this up in the fall. All right, I don't mind this. I think this is a dress. It's either a dress or a tunic. It looks quite short, but might supposed to be that way. This is from TFNC London. I don't know that, but it does look to be pretty well made. I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, here is a sweater from a brand called 1A, size small. Just really nice. <laughs> just really nice gray, kind of like ombre gray turtleneck. I do like this a lot. This will be one. I'll see if my mom wants. Okay, okay, here we've got some Topshop Moto jeans. This is the style Jamie, I guess. This is waist 28, so pretty good. I think that's a size 8. And they are distressed, so I love that. Love black, love distressed. They do look to be a little bit short, but in good condition, so I am quite happy to have these. Haven't had a lot of jeans, which makes sense because they have the whole denim box, but I kind of like that I've gotten some of the cool pairs of pants. Okay, here is an interesting jacket. It's quite long and it's kind of like bodycon. It kind of flares out like that. Camo print, nice and thick actually. Definitely feels well made from a brand called Murmur, M-U-R-M-U-R -M -U -R, in a size small. Ryan just got home. Do you want to finish it off with me? How much is left? Not too much left. Have you gotten more than what you expected or less than what you expected? More, and we still have a whole nother box. That's gonna be a whole other video. <laughs> a whole nother. Oh my gosh, oh. it's falling on me. Okay. Like mountain. All right, so we'll see what's left. Not too much more. This is kind of cute actually. It's a button. So it's, yeah, it's a button up blouse, but it has the tie like right at the neck. I don't actually know what that's called. It's also very see-through. Yeah, you would have to wear something underneath it, but it feels pretty or nice. Or not, I guess, yeah. The material feels very nice, but there's no <coughs> tag that I can find, so I'll have to look more into this, but I like it. <laughs> it just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, this is a piece of crap. I've been counting the pieces of crap. That's, we've got like six so far. So it's another uh, seventh piece of crap. It yeah. looks like it's to a Halloween costume. Yeah, it literally looks like a costume. So I don't know. I don't know just why anyone would wear this otherwise. It feels very crappy. It's just like a black skirt, but yeah, there's no tag or anything. I was saying it's very hard to sell stuff with no tags. Just a simple, whoop, just a simple black tank top with like the piece of fabric across the top. Oh. This is from, what's this from? Beyond Yoga, made in Peru, size medium. Boom. Pretty nice, very nice and lightweight. Another tank top Ooh, this from one's... Rose and Olive. Rose and Olive, this is in a size small. It's new with tags, which is nice. Nothing too exciting, just a tank top, good for work in the warm months. List that soon. Very, very, this is leggings for tiny people. <laughs> leggings for tiny people. They stretch though. These are probably a size small. These feel pretty crappy. They're like tribal print. They're from, they're from, they're from. I have no idea. Oh wait, I do have some idea. I hate when they like do these tags wrapped around. You can't read it. These are from a brand called Chole, size medium. They do feel quite crappy, but I'll list them for pretty cheap. No tags, why are we getting all the crap at the bottom? This doesn't actually feel that bad though. This is kind of like a beach cover-up type of item. Probably won't end up listing it though. We'll see. It's not bad, I don't know, not bad quality. There's just no tags. Unfortunate. Target, ooh, this feels comfortable. Looks like a workout tank. Yeah, it just has like kind of a little knot at the bottom, a little bit cropped, but it just says Target, doesn't say like a specific brand. But I like it. Polka dots. <laughs> Polka dots. This is new with tags. It's in a size large. This brand is Benibos, B-E-N-I-B-O-S. Just a polka dotted button up. Oh. I kind of like that. I used to hate polka dots and now I kind of like them. H&M. Ooh, H&M. 
So this is a kimono, pretty cute. I'll list this soon. Very summer vibes. I like it. And then a big old, what in the heck in heck? Oh, I remember uh, this when I did open it the first time. So do, 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 do. yeah, this is like this crazy big reversible coat. This might be one of the things I'm featuring on Friday of like the best things that I found. It's like this brown and then you can reverse it and it could be black, but very, very nice thick coat. Where is the tag? Okay. Nope, that's a button. I don't know. I'll find the tag later, but I think that this could be something I could sell for quite a bit in the winter. Forever 21. Okay, Forever 21. Not awful. Nice red blazer, actually. I kind of like this. I'm not a blazer girl myself, but very vibrant red. What if you wore this with like those really red pants I found earlier? I have That's no, a look. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Oh, so this looks like it goes to one of those bridesmaids dresses I found earlier. So I'll just oh. have to put that aside. Some tiny wasted pants. Is this the last thing? The last thing. <gasps> the last thing. We made it, guys. Some tiny wasted pants. The last thing in box one. In box one, yeah. So this is G2000 Woman Essential. It says it's a 34. Just some basic pants, nothing too crazy, but they don't feel too bad. Not the worst thing in the world to end on, but that is where I will be ending today. Make sure if you want to be part of my giveaway, if you want to get some thrifted items that I look for myself, I'll be doing a whole video on that. Make sure you are subscribed to me and then head on over to my Instagram and just send me a DM saying that you are interested but make sure you check back on Wednesday because I will be opening the second half of this order. I'm very excited to see everything that's in there. And then of course, Friday, I will do kind of a summary of everything, like I said. So you'll wanna make sure to stick around for that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, for the sake of this effort, please give me a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. It's free. Ryan said it's free, so please. Subscribe. Cost you no money. <laughs> okay, I'm tired and I'm very hungry, so I will see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye.